Hi there YouTube friends, welcome back to Auntie Ace Kitchen. Now I may be biased, but I already think you can't beat a good English breakfast. But when you combine this with a shakshuka, which is a simple but also popular Middle Eastern North African dish, you end up with, in my opinion, the ultimate breakfast, brunch or lunch recipe, which is packed with flavor and the perfect recipe for you to share with your family and friends. And the best part about today's recipe is we're gonna be cooking it all in one pan so there's less washing up. Start by roughly cutting up half an onion and then slice up between three and four mushrooms. It's a really flexible recipe, so if you want to include more of one ingredient, then feel free to add more. Likewise, if there's an ingredient you don't like, so for some people they don't like eating mushrooms, then you could switch these out and use bell peppers instead. Next, finally chop up between one and two cloves of garlic and for your herbs, chop up a handful of parsley as well as a handful of cilantro or coriander as we call it in England. Now, normally in recipes, I'd say use fresh herbs if you can, but otherwise dried herbs are okay. But for today's recipe, I would really recommend that you use fresh herbs where you can as this really will elevate the flavors in your tomato sauce. For speed today, I'm going to be using a tin of Heinz baked beans, but if you want to make your own baked beans, there's a recipe on the channel. I'm also going to be using a tin of some whole tomatoes. And for the bread, you can use any that you have, and we'll be toasting this up later. And with all the prep done, we can now start cooking. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be cooking everything in one pan, so we're going to start by cooking the sausage meat, as this takes the longest to cook. I'm living in Germany at the moment, so I've been trying out different types of sausages. My go-to are Nürnberg sausages, but for today I'm trying this pork sausage that I bought over the deli. I would usually cook one sausage per person, but since this one's quite big, I don't need to cook two. This is going to be enough. For presentation, you can leave your sausages whole, but I quite like to cut them up into little pieces so that in the end, when we dip our toast into our shakshuka with the English breakfast, you get a little bit of everything on your toast. With the sausages nearly cooked, I add the bacon into the pan, and this streaky bacon won't take long to cook at all. Keep turning your sausages over, then as soon as they're cooked, remove them from the pan and place them onto a plate and set this aside until later. At this stage, add your onions as we want them to pick up all the flavor from the pan. When your bacon is nice and crispy, also remove this and place it on the same plate as the sausages. Then just let your onions cook until they begin to soften and pick up some color before then adding your garlic to the pan. Let your garlic also cook for a couple of minutes before then adding your mushrooms. Make sure to mix everything up and then you're gonna let your mushrooms cook until both sides have a wonderful color. Next into the pan, you're going to want to add your spices, some cumin, paprika, and some chili pepper. And instead of chili pepper today, I'm gonna be using some cayenne to bring some warmth and heat to the dish. Give everything a good mix in the spices, then let this cook between one and two minutes before then adding your tin of tomatoes. You don't want to waste any of the tomato sauce, so add some water to the tin, about a third of the tin, swirl this around and add this back into your pan. Then either with a wooden spoon or an avocado masher, as you've seen me using in the video, roughly break up your tomatoes. If you haven't already, don't forget to season well with some salt and pepper. Then you're going to let this tomato sauce cook for about 10 minutes, allowing it to reduce just a little. Next, add half of your fresh herbs that we cut up earlier, as well as two to three tablespoons of baked beans and give everything a good mix. The baked beans, as well as being part of an English breakfast, are gonna bring a wonderful background sweetness to your shakshuka tomato sauce. As I mix everything up, I decide to add another spoon of baked beans. So I add these, and at this stage, you also want to add your sausages and bacon back into the pan. And a quick fun fact, the origin of the word shakshuka comes from, I believe, the Arabic to mean all mixed up. And traditionally, it's a very humble vegetarian dish with a delicious mix of tomatoes, onions, and bell peppers and spices. And for those interested, I'll post this as a shorts video on the channel soon. The star of the show are the eggs, which are gently then poached in the shakshuka tomato sauce. So clear a little space with your spoon, then crack your egg into this. I usually prepare two eggs per person, so make sure to spread them out in your tomato sauce. And for the perfect egg yolk for you to dip your toast in, another quick tip for you is when cracking your egg, crack the shell on a flat surface and this will ensure that you have the perfect egg yolk every time. A quick hi to everyone and welcome to all the new subscribers this week. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button while you're watching this video as this not only gives me a smile, but it also helps the channel to grow. Season your eggs with salt and pepper, then place the lid on your pan. And if you'd like soft egg yolks, let them poach for five minutes. But if you would prefer a hard egg yolk, let them poach for about six to seven minutes. To finish, sprinkle the remainder of your parsley and coriander over your eggs, and an optional extra is to also add some crumbled feta cheese over the top, but with the addition of the English cooked breakfast, I personally don't think this is needed. And you can see in the video, I quickly show you the soft egg yolks, which is what we like in my family. A shakshuka is best eaten straight away, so make sure that you've already toasted up your bread, and today I'm gonna to be serving this with some tropical fruit juice. So here we have a delicious English breakfast combined with a shakshuka. You can eat it straight from the pan or serve it up as individual portions on plates. Then to eat, just smother some toast with some good old Irish butter or without whatever you'd prefer and either dip or load up your toast with your English breakfast shakshuka and enjoy. This is really delicious and actually it's one of my favorite recipes at the moment to share and make with my family and friends and I think you're going to enjoy it too. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.